Hey everybody, this is Charlie Weiser coming at you from EasyPiano.com and I have a cool lick that I'm going to teach you. It's going to use the four, three, one numbers in the right hand and in the left hand is going to use five, one, and five. Okay, it's a lick. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you, you can use in a, on a major chord or a dominant seventh anything like that. And then the second one, I'm going to show you how to vary it by one note. And then that way you can play it on uh, minor chords. But it's a lick that you've probably heard before. As a matter of fact, Ahmad Jamal made this lick famous in quite a few of his songs. I think Ponciana was, uh, that's the first place I think I heard it. So Ponciana, you know, with Ahmad Jamal playing, you know, check it out on the internet, on iTunes, you can uh, locate it. But here's the lick. So it's like this. Okay, so let me go ahead and break that down for you. It's really easy to learn. Again, on the left hand, we're going to be using 5, 1, 5. Right hand, we're going to be using 4, 3, 1. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer to everything by numbers here. Uh, again, you know, if you're not familiar with uh, using numbers based on the major scales or if you're not comfortable in playing your major scales in all 12 keys, make sure you check out my Secret 7 Numbers of Successful Piano Playing Program. And there we get into detail. I go into all 12 keys. I show you how to play little melodies. I show you how to play all of your chords through all 12 keys using numbers and everything else. So anyway, here's what we got. In the left hand, we got 5, 1, 5. Okay, right hand, we got 4, 3, 1. So 5, 1, 5, 4, 3, 1. Okay, in the key of C. So the rhythm is this. So it's like 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so maybe try playing it with me. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, now the key thing here is once you have this down, then try doing it in the different keys. So let's do this. Let's take it uh, up and down in half steps for right now. So uh, if you want, play along with me. You know, if you're not comfortable playing along with me, then watch me do it. And then maybe rewind the video back and play along with me. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Okay. So again, if you can play that with me, definitely do so. If you're not ready to play it with me all the way through like that, then practice each key separately. Then once you feel you're ready, then rewind the video back and play it along with me. Okay. So another way of uh, thinking of this song, you know, to help you remember, you know, if, if uh, you know, the numbers are kind of a challenge for you, you know, where you're trying to think of five, one, five, four, three, one. Think of it like this. Whatever note you start to lick on in the right hand, you're going to go a half step lower, and then you're going to go a major third lower. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you start. You hear half step down, a major third. Okay, so that's your right hand part. Left hand, like I said, when you're dealing with a fifth, you know, another way of thinking of it is if you play a basic uh, triad and root position, you eliminate the middle note, you have your root and you have your fifth. Okay. So anyway, that's a, a lick that you can use on major chords. Again, Amal Jamal uses this uh, lick a lot in a lot of songs that he plays. I think, like I said, I first heard it on Ponciana. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in Ponciana, then check it out on uh, iTunes. Search for Amal Jamal Ponciana. Or if you're on YouTube, there is a link to uh, the song Ponciana uh, in the description below. So anyway, let me show you something else you can do really quickly here. Same lick. Okay, now what I did here, because we have the third, this one is used on a major chord. So in other words, like if you're playing like a C major chord, whatever, then that third is what tells you you can use on a major chord or a dominant seventh chord or anything that has a major third, any type of chord with a major third in it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change it to a minor. Okay, so instead of this, instead of playing the major third, we're going to play a minor third now. Okay, so on the right hand, what you're doing is we start on the four, and then we go to the flat three, one. All right, so got that? Okay, so the actual lick goes like this. So it's the same type of rhythm, but the only difference is that you're using the minor third. And a lot of times what actually works out pretty good is if you combine the first lick that uses the major and then combine it with the second one. So it's like this. Major. Now make it minor. Up half. Major.
Okay. Then if you want on your own, uh, you could try going up and down in half steps, uh, playing that lick. So anyway, uh, again, this is a lick, and I refer to the lick using the numbers because a lot of times I find that if you use the numbers, it's easy to remember, and you can do it in any key as long as you are familiar with your major scales. But if you like learning licks like this or if you want to learn more about improvisation, uh, make sure you check out my four-week course. You know, you can go to my uh, website, easypiano.com, and you'll see a link there that says Courses and click on the course. And then you'll see uh, my four-week course that's available online. It's, uh, you know, it's about 52 videos, and we go through every key. We go through all kinds of different scales, all kinds of different modes. I give you all kinds of ideas to play and things like that. You can see the name of the course on your screen right now as you're looking. So make sure you check that out. Uh, again, it's been fun playing this lick for you. If you do like my videos here on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way, when I come out with new videos, you will be the first to be notified. So anyway, Charlie Weiser from EasyPiano.com signing off. Thanks again for listening and watching. Have fun and enjoy.